Hello, this is the Champion of Home 16. Um, starting off while I was back before, I didn't save, so I went back to where we basically were. Because I somehow my system turned off apparently before it's the, I went to the save block or something. I don't remember, honestly. So I looked at the previous video and hurry up and went back to where I was. I already talked to the toad and stuff, now I have to find a key. It has to be a little toadette in the box, and it has to be somewhere around here. So, well, I found a star piece. If you don't know what that is, you eventually in the game you can trade them in to, uh, I think, um, get your characters more special abilities. Oh, where's the key? Can't jump, can't jump. Well, I'm gonna guess it's a. Well, that's for later on since I've played this game before. Uh, I haven't played, I haven't restarted like this for a good while. Uh, I see. But I found the key. Black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? We already know what it's for. We do know what it is for. And why, I want to know this, why in all Paper Mario games, why is there someone usually stuck in a box? If you look at the new suit, new suit um, pa Super Paper Mario for the Wii, um, the, the some of the fairies are stuck in the box. If you boxes, we know it played the game before. People get shoved in boxes and locked in. Why is what with that? What is with that? Whoa! You brought the key. Yes. Oh man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Hey. Thank nothing. We <laughs> fools. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I bend you. What do you think I was going to do? Going to help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little of the suffering I've endured in a stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those those are the breaks. I'm going to cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Well, ha ha, you are cursed. We enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? And listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. We are trembling yet suffering the rest of your days under my terrible curse. We oh, I can't help but chortle your doom. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on airplane panel like this, one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel now. Try, try pressing Y, then, then bam, you're a paper airplane. Mm -hmm. The worst part is this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you are gonna got good at it, you might fly as, as a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that ever happened to you? Um, no. It's not terrible. Yes, it. It's so funny, you lost control of your brain. Listen once more. Oh my god. Cry <laughs> baby. If you step on a four pound of that, a mark by curse symbols, the floor will glow. Yeah, I already. And I just thought I was being sarcastic and making mad. But I guess it makes you do it all again. Wee <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal, maybe. Actually, you do. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee he Ooh, this is the most terrible curse. It only saves you. So, uh, wow. Just, wow, what was that guy's beef? Okay, that was a little weird. I honestly remember that. I don't remember that. Um, 
honestly don't. I thought it was. I remembered it differently. Hmm. Well, I thought it was something else. Okay, now let's go try to find the thousand you see. Oh. And this was too well. This is what that box meant. The left and right to steer uh, your uh, paper airplane self. You have to be good pilot if you want to fly far. Try it once more. Yes, I know. I just I haven't been too good at it in a while. Well, I'm pretty good at it when I played it for a little while. I haven't played this game for a good while, so okay, let's get on the edge of the platform. No! Oh my god. Oh no, you're not gonna say this every time I mess up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't wanna hear you. You are annoying. Just shut up already. I can't wait till you leave. I cannot wait. I've actually never beat this game before, so. Well, I know how to beat it, I just never did. See, you get a hang of it, you're good. Now you shut up, and I am ultimate. <laughs> okay, um, I'm pretty sure this is a thousand yen doors. Yeah, let's turn this up a little bit. So you can hear the epic music. Oh, Mario, Goomba Bell, look at that. Thousand Year Door spoken of it in the le legend. I can't believe it's real. And the Sorry for that. Um, phone ring. I had to pick it up, so I'm good again. Um, so the legends are all true. There, are, it is. Big, look, let's move closer. You probably read that when I ran off. Let's run away. Let's well, it's gonna go into a cutscene, so I'm gonna turn up a little bit. Hey, what's the deal with this weird hostel? Oh, uh, what could it? Be, you think? Well, this is what it is. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Yay! Mario has learned a special move you can throw. Now use sweet treat, which is a, okay, pretty bad in my opinion. Each time you get a crystal star, you learn you learn a new special move. Professor, the map. And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. Just hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all you gotta say. Oh yeah, it's better than hmm. Just, hmm. 
Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Uh huh. I see. Takes time to like tell which one of us. You won't understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By uh, my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it will. Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure, why not? Excellent. In that case, we will go outside since this place is a little cramped. Then that would just... Okay, I'm gonna just go first take it close. Look at your star power gauge. Which is a thing we have. Let me highlight it. See that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that is a single unit of power. Or that one only takes a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will punish your health. HP is your health. And FP is. I don't know, I guess flower power. show you what I mean by it, and I'll uh, try to attack it, please. Oh, that's one way. Really nice to see how you turn your audience so then you turn up your star gauge. Yeah, I can't see that. Okay, but like you can do special tricks or moves like this. Stylish. They're very hard. Nice keep building up that star power. Also, the more excited your battles are, the more people will come to watch you try, which is the really good stuff works. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of the members of the, this audience, which is on the bottom left. Are you serious? Is that? Seriously, set this up for purpose. Now, I actually recommend you have uh, two matching icons and an icon will appear. Give it a try. Oh, well, I think it always works. That first time. Yeah, the crowd comes in. That's you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes mad and people swarm into you. Plus, depending on the icon, if you match up, you match, make everything good again. But if you get three or four smash or something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to star power. I hope you memorize all this. Other things are you know all this. Great computer buzz goes on a look at your audience. That guy have a hammer? He does. A bomb. He means to toss it at you. Or your enemy, he can. The audience members hits you with anything you take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop before I hit you.
Yeah, um, one hand bone, and all you have to know um, I think that itself distincts it. They hate Mario. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the object, objects in the uh, body and stuff that you know. Of course, fans of you know, might toss good stuff like coins, don't attack them. They also toss, I don't remember coins, but remember items. Well, that's all I've got here. Here ends my scientific lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. I don't want to be muffled, man. <laughs> Wait, old Goomba. Let's have a look at that magic map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astonishing. This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of the crystal stars. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadow. Meadows. Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Liverpool. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there? I don't know what. I'm far, fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to metal, metal, no, pedal meadows. That's like a rhyme. Not a rhyme, but like it was tongue twister. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly, instantly. Pipes travel efficiently. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Uh, I sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? So it's, it is her. The princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicion about petal... Petal, petal, petal meadows, I think. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to petal meadows on her own. You know, Professor that was another special group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine what just keeps getting involved with them. Alright, yeah, I said so we're off to petal meadows. You can check out. Princess Peach indeed went there, you know, first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a, a means to an end, and that's the end is Princess Peach. And get back to Matt. Why don't you come to Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask her about Princess Peach and that suspicious game. Besides, I doubt it. She might know a girl like me could handle the trials of the road. Trial. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come and see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Oh, Mario, we're off. Yes! How you love it. Without you. Yes. Well, wait just a moment. Oh, nice. You got power crushing a hammer, a single enemy using lots of attack power points, so I can use more on you. <laughs> Mario, it's a scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge. Oh my god, the badge. And it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you can, you have equipped it, you'll get much more power. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipment and removing badges? Equipping? No, that's easy. It's clicking buttons. It's not even exciting. Are you actually sure this is the last time I'll ask? Do you want to practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. Oh, they are called flower points. Oh, I know that. <laughs> In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but your FP too. Did you get all that? So oh, yes, hoping you find that pipe to an old meadows. Okay, let's see if that bad.
been the champion of home 16 please like subscribe comment on whatever you feel like goodbye <laughs>